Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot. In today's video, you'll learn how to generate an entire website using AI. So you can take a prompt and put in your specifications and it will create for you a website, custom professional design tailored to any client. I think a lot of you are gonna have some fun with this one. Now this is called WebWave Website Builder. I've got a link in the description if you wanna check it out. There is a free version if you wanted to test it. Um, but if all that sounds interesting, then keep watching. Okay, starting from our WebWave dashboard, we can see we can create a new website with this button here. They also have a button to do an AI website with this one. So let's check this out. Besides generating the website with AI, you can choose a template and customize one of their existing templates. There's lots of templates here to choose from. You can also just start with a blank page and use the page builder from scratch. I think the really interesting way is generating with AI. So that's what I want to do today. Now we have to enter a prompt, a brief description to help the AI generate the site. I'm just gonna paste in a prompt that I came up with earlier. I want a brochure website for gardening service called Glen's Gardening. We specialize in lawns, gardens, paving, and pathways for residential homes. Use images of new homes with beautiful lawns and gardens. I'd like a green color theme with a sans serif font. So let's go ahead and click generate. After clicking generate, it's gonna start creating our website. So it's gonna start with our home page. It's gonna have a template here with some filler text and it's gonna replace the images with images based on our prompt. And then it's gonna start changing that text into AI generated text using OpenAI to fill that out with suitable text based on our input. So away it goes, you get to watch this live while it creates the website, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting, but you can see Suitable images are coming in here and the text is suitable based on what we provided during the prompt. So this does take a few minutes. Usually it will create three or four different pages as well. It starts with the home page. It will do a contact page and a couple of others as well for you to look at later. So I'm just going to skip ahead to when this is completed. Okay, now that's finished generating, this is what it has come up with. It looks pretty good so far, but we can actually customize anything we see here to our own preference. So for example, I might want to change this green gardens text and customize that to my own uh, branding. So rather than saying green and gardens, I might just put uh, Glen's gardening in that spot there. And the next thing we could work on is the colors. So they've chosen a nice shade of green here for our um, text and our font looks pretty good too. Um, if we go to website here, we can actually look at the uh, website background. So it's chosen this off white color. We could actually go ahead and change that to another color if we wish. I think I prefer a green color as well for the background, but make it like a light, a very light green. I think that suits our theme a little better. So I'll go with that. And you can tweak the global colors further under global colors there. So we have our brand color and our neutral and dark tones here. So if you had a specific brand color that you want based on your other marketing, you can go ahead and plug in any value you want there. I'm pretty happy with that. But if say if I wanted it a little bit darker, I might just move it a little bit um, towards the deeper end of the green there and that changes it throughout the website. With our images, the AI does try to choose suitable images, but if you wanna change the one that it's chosen, for example, this close-up of a leaf, all you have to do is select the image and choose that uh, action to change the image. And you can pull something out of your media library or you can head to our image bank and this gives us stock photos. By default, it's looking at green gardens for our phrase and we could pull something out that we like. For example, that one looks pretty good and that can change the image uh, quick fairly quickly. And we can actually edit the text as we like, or we can actually generate it with AI as well. Um, we could just make e the existing text, just make it shorter maybe um, for this one here. If we thought that was a bit too long, this big block of paragraph that's created here, maybe I just wanted a, a nice short paragraph with a bit more um, white space around it. So that looks a bit better. So very quick to create a nice prototype. Um, according to your own design feel. It's also worth noting that these templates are fully mobile responsive. So if we select the devices up here, by default we're on desktop mode, but we can see uh, tablet mode here. And we've got a couple of different mobile devices that we can preview on as well. So everything looks pretty good straight out of the box. So this really does um, speed up the workflow when you're working on a new site. The other thing I noticed was all of these elements are completely drag and drop. So for example, if you wanted to move something like this dot here, just select it and you can move it around very freely and it locks to the grid. If you wanted to line it up specifically with another um, element on the page, you can do that pretty simply as well. So that's really cool. So besides the home page here, it has generated a few other pages for in total for this website. If we go to our website here, we can manage the pages there. If we wanted to go ahead and edit another page, we could go ahead and select it 
and that will open up the page. We can do the same process uh, for our other pages as well. If we wanted to remove pages, we can totally do that too. Again, we head back to the website and manage the pages. And if we wanted to just get rid of, say, the offer page, uh, we can just delete it altogether. And that will delete our offer page. Um, so let's go back to our home page. That was probably my favorite one. Edit that one. There we go. And once you've finished updating and tweaking your site, you can go ahead and hit publish. And that will go ahead and publish it to a temporary uh, URL. So here you can go ahead and view the website on a temporary URL, or you can even set your own custom domain at this point as well. Let's go ahead and just check out the temporary URL here. So this is our completed result so far. So this looks pretty good. And we can see our temporary URL here. This would be nice for prototyping a few different ideas, sending them to a client, for example, and see which one they want to proceed with. Probably the only thing I'd need to add here is put in a custom logo, custom favicon, and change the actual website name from new website uh, to something else. All that's pretty straightforward. Click the logo, uh, the favicon is there, and our website name is there. So that's all very, very straightforward. The other thing I was curious about was its performance. So I did a quick GT metrics test. Its web vitals are really quite good. 1.6 seconds, uh, largest contentful paint straight out the box. It's got an A with 92% performance. So uh, pretty good uh, from WebWave in terms of its uh, speed. The other thing I thought that was pretty cool that they included was the ability to export the website. So if you go to your options from the dashboard, you can export the website as a static HTML site, and then you can actually host it wherever you want. You're not actually locked into hosting this on WebWave forever, which is pretty cool because a lot of these proprietary web builders do like to lock their customers in for as long as they can. Uh, it's not free to export the site, but it's good to know that it's possible um, if you wanted to move to another uh, form of hosting, that's totally possible uh, with this export function. All right, time for our conclusions for our WebWave review. So I thought the WebWave website builder was a very fast and user-friendly way of creating websites very efficiently. I think using the AI to create website prototypes would be a really great way if you were running an agency and you wanted to present your clients with a uh, selection of options during the project scoping phase, that'd be a really efficient way of doing it without putting in a lot of time in on your end. So I think the AI can really speed up the workflow in that regard. Uh, there is a lifetime deal on AppSumo at the moment, but that is a Black Friday sale. So the AppSumo sale ends on December 1st at noon central time, and that's gonna be $69 for a lifetime deal on WebWave. So check that out. Link is in the description, ideaspot.com.au slash WebWave if you're interested, but thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.